Hello guys, back out again. No gather this week, he's off on his holidays. Um, excuse the wind noise and the, and the traffic noise. I'm right on this old field here. Um, I've always looked at this place but never actually been on it. Um, it's been here for years and years. Uh, but the other day someone told me there was an old house that used to be on here. So I want to give it a whirl. Although I will tell you straight away, it's springtime here in uh, Queensland and these little buggers are very known to get very uh, aggressive around, around spring and uh, they swoop you out. They can actually really hurt you if they want to. So whether he lets me detect or not, as, uh, that's up to him. But I'll give it a go first. And if he makes me move on, I'll have to think of something else. But anyway, let's see what kind of mood he's in and let's uh, at least start and uh, see if we can get anything from around here. Well, first target up is a little 20 cent coin. So there has been activity on here. Um, I forgot to say earlier, I mean, quite a bit of pain <laughs> this week. Um, yeah, I crashed the bike during the week and uh, I came down on the floor pretty hard, I hurt my knee, then on my hand, in my shoulder, my elbow, so if you hear any cries of pain or wincing or whinging, <laughs> it's, probably, it's just me just, <laughs> just getting over the accident, so <laughs> anyway, first off, it's a coin and it's just only a little 20 centre. Well, First nuggets on the board. Well, we could have a little nugget spill on our hands. That there is where I just got the one dollar. And here, right there somewhere, I've got a similar, almost identical target. We'll dig up together, I think. Look at that. Oh, my knee is so all I can think I can see it right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little two nuggets on the board. Dirt's really nice here, look. Nice and crumbly. Makes it a lot digging, easy digging, sorry. And uh, especially with the pain in the knee, it's nice to um, to kneel down on a bit of softer ground, to be truthful. That's why I chose this uh, place. I knew, um, I knew it was going to be softer. Anyway, good works. Let's carry on. Well, have we got another? Right where the others were, this could turn out to be a substantial little spill, which fills me with even more hope that this place is getting well used. I need modern stuff at the moment, but uh, I don't know, could be someone else. Have a look what this is. <laughs> oh, that, here we go. This is the nugget. <laughs> Hung around this area a little bit. Oh, that's it. The magpies have beat me. You probably hear them in the background. They're still swooping me. I moved right the way across to the other side of the field and they still came right the way over and just annoyed me. So I decided, right, go and get my fag. Go and do a bit of... Uh, he's right next to me, the chicken kid. Go and get your uh, 
go, go and do some full buffs and so we get out of this little kids territory. And on, on my way back, I got built for 76. And I don't care if you're there, I'm gonna dig it. <laughs> because it's too good to not dig it. And oh my god, I see black ants, so I better hurry up. If I'm not in a nest of black ants, too. Right, let's see what we got. Oh. <sighs> Pardon, magpies. Just this time of year, when they nest, I can see a queen. We got it in there. Oh, well, mill bridge. Mill bridge. What's that? It's a chili. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. We're gonna get a big camera out. Oh my word, that's a British 1933 shilling. I don't know what silver, I don't know if it's silver. Oh, 76, it's got a chance. I'll see if there's anything else in there. I haven't even got my pin points around. There's something in there. Is it another coin? Two is a six, this one. Looks like a sixpence. Oh my god! That's a British one too! 1940? Holy crap! Holy crap! More? Oh! Oh my word, there's more. Oh, what? No way. I thought the magpies had beat me. I was... I, I, honestly, I'm on my way to get my bag. Fell back in the hole. What we got, what we got, what we got. Where is it? It is another coin, it's another silver. It's just... It's a thrip. Shit! A, a shilling a sixpence and a thrip. Oh, that's, a, that's an Aussie one. That's a King George of six. Peace, sorry. I'll get all my, my words wrong. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. That's just too good to be true. That is. Oh wow. Oh, that's incredible. Let's get the big camera and have a proper look at them. Wow. Oh. Oh man. Over the bloody moon. Wow, that is just almost a dream come true, that is. What the hell, imagine the odds of that. Not only a chilling sixpence and a thrift, but two of them being bloody British. One's a George the Fifth 33, one's a George the Sixth 40. I'll have to check on the silver content, if any. I'm not sure about um, about British coins at all, but um, 76, it's ringing pretty high, probably 50% or something, like I said, I'm just not sure, I've never found anything like that before, oh, epic, that's why I love this hobby, you just never know, <coughs> excuse me, you just never know. Right, I've had a look at the magpies. I'm really dry as you can tell. And uh, I'm going to go and get my bag and go onto the footpaths and see if we can do anything out there. But, you know, I'm going to have to come back to this place when uh, the breeding season's over. Fantastic.
fantastic, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Oh, no way. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> There's the other one. That's not far away either. Might have to reconsider this, guys, and think about moving somewhere else. <laughs> Getting more and more annoyed each time I come past. Okay, but well, I left the field behind and the magpies, and I uh, come onto this old bit of strip in the middle of town. Sorry about any wind noise or car noise, guys, but you can see where I am. Um, I've been thinking: Did the magpies drive me off the land? or to that find because if I hadn't have said that's enough I can't get my bag I wouldn't have stopped, wouldn't have turned around wouldn't have gone that way so <laughs> I don't know if they did me a favour or not anyway let's get going with a bit of curve stripping and uh, see, if, see if we can uh, winkle anything out in the middle of town well, I must be a bloody mile away from where that mud poison nest is and it's still coming over and harassing me. <laughs> it's, it's a nutcase. <laughs> Absolute lunatic he is. God almighty, leave me alone now, mate. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to you. Anyway, I came across this one, it's a 74. It's not it's not deep. It's just in there somewhere. It's got a bit of depth on it, but it's not that bad. But it's a nice little pinging target. Let's see what we've got. It's just underneath this tree. Oh. Oh, what's that? What is that? What is that? Oh, wow! <laughs> That's a little monster boy! <laughs> Look at that! Little pendants! That's silver, that is. That's silver. Remember I found a bicycle? <laughs> it's a little monster boy. Let's get the big camera out and have a proper look. Well, here it is. Little motor boy, little Vespa by the look of it. How cute is that? That's brilliant. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. I'll have to have a look for any marks. See if it says 925 on it, but that's definitely silver all day long. Can't be anything else. That's brilliant. And what a day. I'm going to have to call it quit soon though, guys. I mean, the knee is absolutely lagging at the moment. I'll carry on for as long as I can bear it, but it's not going to be much longer. Well, we're just by this busy crossing here. And uh, I got a nice 74 
not deep at all. Right at the back there. Possibly a bottle top, but sounds a lot better than that, to be truthful. <laughs> oh! Yes! He does it, and he does it, he does it again. Oh! Look at that. Shit! Oh! That's like a Pandora ring or something, it's new that is. That's brand new, I'm right in the centre of town so... That could have been dropped five minutes ago for all I know. But that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Let's get the big camera out and have a look. Well, there we go. Absolutely beautiful end of a session. I'm in absolutely agony with the leg. That's really sore. I've been given some horror up as well, so all I'm going to do is just rest. Just needed to get out. I haven't been out that long, but the magpie, oh, drives me absolutely... He's still around here. He's still around. I don't know how big their territory is, but he's still annoying me. But yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Bloody traffic. What a way to end, what a way to end. British coins, the little motorbike, which is still, I've had a look. Ring, little pockets full of nuggets. Not bad, not bad for about three and a half hours in town. Absolutely perfect. I'll do a little round up uh, before I get my lift and Yep, and we'll see what we found today. Well, there we are with a round up. Uh, I got a 10. I think I had a 20 cent coin, but I don't know what that is, to be honest. Which fell out somewhere. I got a penny. Seven bucks in goldies. Beautiful little ring and a little motorbike. I think that's my find of the day, actually. Well, I don't know yet. I mean, these coins are pretty special. Um, try and get you closer in on them. 1933 shilling, British shilling. 1940 British sixpence. Uh, I've forgotten the date. 1917 King George V uh, Australian threepence, I think. Uh, all in one all, I mean, that was just incredible. Absolutely brilliant. Bit of junk, uh, bit of a watch battery, bit of a copper junction, I don't know what that is. But, uh, I mean, plagued by the magpie all day. <laughs> Little bugger. I don't know how, how far they travel to try and swoop you, but we couldn't get away from you. Anyway. That's me again, hopefully the knee heals up and I'm more able to get out and about uh, next week. So, I don't know when Gaz is back to be honest, I haven't asked him, but uh, I'm sure we'll get in touch and I'll find out. So, yep, thanks for watching, see you again next time I'm out and about.